Um, hello, we're from Crown Woods and we're in Gordon Primary School. I'm Naomi, this is Fraser, Pip, Matthew, Lily, Ella and Harvey. Hello. <coughs> Today we'll be investigating how mass and volume it depends on the amount of water that comes out of a bowl. You know mass is weight. We're trying to get someone with the same weight but a different shape, which is volume. What we're trying to find out is if it matters if you've got a bigger volume or a smaller volume but the same weight. So we're going to dunk someone, you're going to dunk me into some water and see how much water spills out and then you're going to dunk those weights in which weigh the same as me and then see how much falls out. And, and will those weights have a different volume to you? Uh, yeah, and those, because look at me compared to them, I'm a lot bigger but they're, and, and they're a different shape as well. See, you got what I mean? Yeah. So the key question is, what, what is, um, is it true that if you have a bigger volume, more water will come out, or if you have a bigger mass, more water will come out? Um, my name is Ella, and I think a bigger volume will be displaced. Hi, I'm Louie. I think the, the more weight you put in, the more water will be, will be displaced. Hi, I'm Matthew, and I think uh, that the bigger the volume, the more water will be displaced. And we're back with the Crownwood scientists. Here we have Pip about to measure Fraser. Fraser, get on. And Fraser weighs a whopping 700 kilograms. I mean, um, uh, 62. All right. Luckily enough, we have we have 62 uh, uh, 62 kilograms of weights with us. So now we're going to put them in. So now Fraser's going to get into the water and we're going to see if it will not matter if the volume will make more water go out of the, the water. Because we've already put the weights in. You ready everyone? No. <laughs> drum roll. Just kidding. Fraser, don't drum roll yourself. Oh no, it's me. <gasps> From this experiment, we've realised that it doesn't matter, it, the mass is, it doesn't matter, it's the volume of each object. Like for example, if you have two objects, they have the same, they have the same volume but different masses, it would not change the amount of water poured that, that would be displaced by each one. And to conclude today's topic, we're going to ask a few Gordon students what, they, what their conclusion is. Conclusion is the more volume that is, the more water is displaced. I think the conclusion is it doesn't matter about the mass of the object but the volume. My conclusion was the more the more mass there was, wait, the more volume there was, the more water comes out. Thank you for watching our experiment.